G'day, I'm Gavin, and thanks for your interest in a Hurley's fly fishing adventure to Christmas Island. It's an incredible place, there's about six, 7,000 people live here, and you've got sand flats as far as the eye can see. So if you want to target bonefish, this is certainly the place to come. They'll range in size from a pound, which is still pretty good fun, up to you can get them, you know, seven, eight, even to around 10 pound as well. But they're just incredible fish to target. There's also a lot of triggers that you're going to come across here on the lagoon itself, as well as GTs and a few other different species, but you're really here for the bonefish, they're just incredible. We've also got outside fishing, and that's something that you really should consider. You've got relatively calm water and you've got schools of tuna, various sort of uh, species there. As well as going outside, we can look to get some sailfish, you've got wahoo, you know, even a few marlin get caught from time to time. So whatever you're fishing, it doesn't always have to be fly, you might even be into lure fishing poppers or out into the big game stuff. Akari House, it's got it all for you. So from the northern hemisphere, you enter via Honolulu and for the southerners, it's via Fiji. And it's an incredible place to spend a bit of time. You have to put up with some sun, crystal clear water, and sandy beaches, but you're gonna love it. Right. Now the gear we're gonna use on Christmas Island is pretty important. For bonefish, we tend to use an eight weight. I use a stalker current. I find that's much better for casting into the wind and for steering around some of these bigger fish. The reel's quite important. I use a galvan, has its sealed drag, much better in this saltwater environment. Lines also play an important role here too because the water's so warm, so we need a tropical line. I've got a Rio in their Flats Pro. It's ideal for this sort of stealth work and it really presents that fly right up to where the fish are and nice and subtly as well. So get the right gear to, to uh, target some of these fish here with a decent set of glasses. I use the Tonic. They're great Polaroids for, for spotting these bonefish because at times they can be really difficult to see. So get the right gear and you're going to have a lot of fun. Now that's a, a typical sort of fly box that you're going to need to bring to Christmas Island. Um, the bonefish are tending to going to eat like a lot of little crabs or the little uh, like a shrimp type thing. There's a mantis shrimp, obviously uh, start off small. Um, little rubber legs, look like arms and legs sort of going everywhere and very sparsely dressed tends to work as well. At times the, the colours will, will alter from orange to more silver or more chrome and things like that but you want an assortment uh, particularly for these bones because they might change on different days and there's also trigger fish which is another style and they tend to eat just more crabs so there's a few different variations that we can use for trigger fish which are a highly prized fish to get in Christmas Island as well so uh, get as many flies as you're going to need and hopefully you put them in front of the fish and they're going to work. 